There we go. There we go. So on the this is Ubuntu running on a phone and running on a tablet interface. You'll see here that you, you, you start with a welcome screen. The welcome screen contains a visualization that is created, it's designed by an artist and it's created by the, the uniqueness of it is generated from the data, the way you use your data on your device. One of the differences between Ubuntu running on a phone and Ubuntu running on a tablet is that the tablet is a multi-user experience. So here you can see that each user has a secure and encrypted account. So if you're at home, for example, and you have to share the device, it's very easy, or in an enterprise situation where the device needs to be shared. You'll notice as well that we don't have any buttons, software or hardware buttons, so that we use the edges. And from the left edge, we bring in the launcher, which shows us the apps that we're using. And here, we'll just go to the home page. And you can see how this interface scales very well across the two devices. And the launcher exists on the tablet as well. So we have this home screen, but it's like a summary of the things that really matter to you on the device. And ultimately, you would be able to customize this to suit you. But for now, we've chosen things like favorite people, frequent apps, things like that. We also have an app screen, which is showing the frequently used apps. When we have apps running, it shows the running apps, and we have a video one as well. The video screen shows some of the data you already have, but it also lets you find some more movies to watch. So you can go and rent or buy a video, depending on what you're, what you're interested in. We have two different kinds of applications. We have native apps and HTML5 apps. HTML5 apps are excellent for certain things like Facebook and Twitter, but when we want to provide a richer user experience, then it's better to go for a native application. So you can see here, we've designed this gallery app to really show off your photos and make sure they look really cool, even if you're not such a good photographer yourself. So here, what another important principle for our UI design is to make sure that we never let the UI get in the way of your content. These are your holiday photos, not this, you've not come to look at how our user interface works. When you're ready though, you can just swipe from the bottom and bring in the toolbar, and this toolbar will contain the most frequently used items. If I scroll a little bit further up, I can launch the HUD. The HUD gives me access to a much more rich set of tools, even on a little device like this, where perhaps I don't, I don't want to have to clutter the interface with loads of, loads of tools and loads of things to do. So here I can simply crop or not, depending. I don't, I'm not going to crop the photo because I think it looks nice just the way it is. From the top, we're bringing our settings. So we have date and time, we have battery, we have network, and a messaging menu. And the messaging menu is more than a simple notifications area. It brings together all the communications I've had from different people. It doesn't matter if they're from Facebook or they're from Skype. They all come into this same menu. One thing that makes this a little bit more interesting and a little bit more exciting is that I don't actually have to go off to Facebook. I can respond straight away here in line and then send my response and away it goes. I don't have to go and launch Facebook. Another key difference between these two devices is that the phone has obviously only one screen that's in use, whereas the tablet allows me to multitask by using two different screens, of this, by running two different apps at the same time. And you can see here that I have exactly the same notepad app running on the phone, and then when I want to do something on the tablet, I can put it here. So for developers, that's very nice because they only have to create the app once across both devices. This side, this side stage can run multiple applications. So for example, let's say I wanted to add the calculator as well, I can flip between the two, maybe write some notes, do some sums, and switch between things. And on the phone as well, the right edge is always used for flipping from one to the other. If I flip from the left, flip, swipe from the left, and go straight through the launcher, I get right back to my app's home page. So at any time, if I just want to go and launch another app or something, it's all sitting here waiting for me. And that's really a summary of the Ubuntu running on the tablet and the phone. And is there any